I've been doing my lives on Friday, but because I'm going to be out on Friday celebrating with some co-workers of mine who are getting married, um, I decided to bring this to you tonight. And we are doing fish tacos, fish tacos with some swai. Um, it's an inexpensive white flaky fish. Um, I seasoned it with my mojo. Remember the mojo that I show you? I don't know if, if that I showed you. Uh, I don't know if you were on last week's live. Anyway. This is my Badia Mojo. Mm-hmm. And hi, Alicia. Hi, honey. Hi, Rhea. Terry, what's going on? So I'm actually going to... Ooh, the pan is nice and hot. I'm using my griddle today. This is my heavy-duty duty griddle. Um, because when I'm done with it, all I got to do is stick it halfway in the sink and just like... Wash it while it's hot and it'll get all that stuff off. Mm, that's what I'm... It's Tuesday. I'm easy breezy. Lemon squeezy. Yeah. So, uh, got my marinated swai. Get that extra marinade off of there. And uh, who else is on... Hey, Calvin, I love you too, babe. I love you. I saw your live the other day, and I was like, that's my boo. He's so cute. He's, that's, that's my cousin. Yes, honey. Wells doing it. Wells is doing it. All right, so I got my swai. It's been marinated in the mojo marinade. And now I'm just going to stick it on my griddle because I want to sear it on the front and the back side, all right? First, I'm going to do the front side, all right? Here we go. This is my front side. Okay, here we go. Oh, my gosh. Can you hear that? It sounds so beautiful. It sounds like something about to happen. My own. Um, I'm going to put some more. Just in case I get a guest tonight, I'm going to turn this up a little bit more. You want to sear that rip. Don't be so anxious. Y'all, when you put your, your meat on the griddle, don't be so anxious to turn it and see what it's doing. Let it do what it's doing. <laughs> Calvin, you got me messed up. Let it do what it do. Okay? Okay. All right, so I'm going to let that sear. I'm going to let it get brown. I'm going to let it get a little crust. All right, um, before I even think about peeking at it. All right, y'all treat food, meat, and fish on the grill like it's, like it's Jesus. Y'all be checking back to make sure Jesus said he's going to do what he's going to do. He doing what he say he's going to do. I think I just preached. I think I just preached a half a sermon. Jesus is doing what he going to do. I ain't even going to look at what he doing because he doing it. What temp is the grid along? I don't know. I got it. I got it on 400 right now, Terry. Um, Yeah. Because it's a white fish, it's not going to take that long to um really sear it and get that nice crust that you want. But let Jesus work. Don't peek at it. Don't check to see if he doing what he said he was going to do. Uh. -uh. Let it work. Alright. While that's going. Um, for those of you that are just joining. Fish taco tonight. I have some more of that sly left. Because I bought it in the pack. And I don't want it to go to waste. So I'm going to use it. Swai is not my favorite fish. Salmon is. Salmon is my favorite. But swai is going to carry me through the week. Because I got more month than what? Than money. Okay. So all I'm doing right now is cutting up some scallions. And uh, then I'm going to cut up some red, 
I hope y'all can hear me okay. I'm going to cut up some red onion. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Put that in the garbage disposal. Let's do some red onions up in this. Hey. That's, that's smelling right nice. I got my red onions going. Everything I'm chopping up now is just going to be like a part of, you know, when I'm assembling my fish tacos. I want more onions. I love onions and garlic. Yes! Love it. Love it. Love it. Look, look. Okay. All right, all right, all right. I think I want some peppers. Let me get, hold on, I got some, um, ooh, I have some peppers. Some colorful red and green peppers. I think I'm going to let it work. Don't worry about the fish. The fish is fine. Y'all fretting over nothing. The fish is doing just fine. How was your day, y'all? Um, it's Tuesday is one of the weird days, ain't it? It's like uh, I ain't really quite here at work, but I'm here. I'm I'm here to get it done, but I ain't really feeling. And I got to tell you, honey, that was my day today. I was there to get it done. But I wouldn't really feel that. Um, let me see, Monique. Hey, Monique. Loving that top, cuz. Thank you, Tina. Honey, I'm home. Did I tell y'all I went to the gym this morning? Uh, went to the gym. Got me a 32-minute workout on the uh, treadmill. And I did five-minute intervals of running so that I could get my heart up, heart rate up past 145, which worked beautifully. So I got a great sweat going, and that was good. Then I went to work, moved some stuff around, came back, and... Uh, Took a shower, took a shower, dressed, hey, cleaned up my place. Who is that, y'all? Oh, made me some tacos. Oh, I don't know what's next. Oh, yes. And all I'm doing now is I'm going to saute very lightly because I, I want a little bit of a crunch. I don't want them too, too soft because I got salsa going on these tacos. All right, let's see what Jesus done done to this. Uh... <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Yes, that's my cup. Jill Scott, somebody's paying attention tonight. Y'all better get you some music and just start dancing and singing and uh, cooking. What? Cooking. Uh, cooking. Come on, cook. What? Uh, uh. Little Himalayan pink salt going on my, my trio of peppers, onions. No, it's a duo. I just got peppers and onions. Because I got two kinds of onions. Two colors of peppers. But it's still peppers and onions. So it's just a duo. Don't, don't complicate it. Oh, y'all. Let me tell you. Um. Woo-wee! I just flipped that 
that this, Jesus did what he said he was going to do, honey. I ain't had to peek that at him. He did it. He did it. It's done. It's done. I'm going to let that fish sear on the other side. Y'all, this is going to be another dinner in a pinch kind of kind of meal. All right, all right. So, um, as always, I like to share with y'all. Some people say I overshare, but I'm going to share um, just a few details of my my professional life, but how it has allowed me to make some um, personal growth. So, after my workout today, I felt so good. I burned calories. I did uh, 1.63 miles. And I did some ab crunches. And I did some other stuff in there. Um, and I was out in 45 minutes. Hey, Misha, Misha. Ah! Fish tacos tonight, boo. Fish tacos. I'm going to show you the, the rest of them. Y'all want to see? Y'all, hold on. Hold on. Just, just be with me. Oh, Lord. Be with me. That's my, that's my... Yes. Peppers and onions. Fish going. Mm-hmm. I got another one in here. I think my sister girl Lisa said she was coming over. But she said she called me um earlier. She said, I ain't doing no live. Zoom. <gasps> oh! Y'all. I can't take my phone off no more. That's not going to work. Because it it paused the broadcast. Hey, Delisha. Ah, yes. I, I'm not going to take the phone off no more, but I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, can you see? Can you see? Uh, 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 uh. So my sister girl, Lisa, said she might come over later on this evening. So I'm, I'm going to make enough for her as well. Now, y'all see how many times I turned them vegetables. It wasn't much. I let them kind of fry, and then I flipped it, and that's it. I'm about to pull them off. Stop cooking your vegetables to death. Okay? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Um, what's I talking about? Personal growth? Do you want to tag? Yes. Why am I tagging Patricia? Because Facebook thinks that we are twins. So Facebook just asked if I wanted to tag Patricia Conyers, Patricia Isaac. That's my sister. In this video. But I tagged her because I didn't know what I was doing. Hey, Kayama. Facebook thinks we twins and we are not. But we might as well be chill. I'm going to take that off. Get your veggies off there for the scorch. So I'm bringing this to you on a Tuesday for those of you that are late. Because Friday I will be out. Celebrating my co-workers forthcoming nuptials and I'm kind of the host of the party so really need to be there um, at a little dessert bar here in Charlotte question for the tacos the oh. Should I use the spinach herb or the tomato, the sun-dried tomato wrap? Which one? I don't know. Hey, cousin. Hey, Ro. 
Love you, pretty. I don't know. I'm torn. Somebody help me make a decision. Spinach herb or tomato. Sun-dried tomato. I'm going to go with whatever you say. Waiting. Waiting. Uh. What? What? I'm going to turn that fire off now because it's hot. It's good and hot, and I think the other side of that fish is done. All I'm going to do is, like, split it down the middle and um, get it ready for my tacos. Tomato! That's what I was thinking, too, Tina. Because, me too, me, see? So, my cousin Tina and my boo, Tamisha, said, do the tomato. Um, Y'all know I love color in my food. And, uh, uh, I think that tomato wrap is going to be just right. So, all I'm going to do with this tomato wrap, before I put it on the fire, I'm going to cut it. Y'all know how I cut it, all right? I'm going to place it here on my previously cleaned granite countertop. Y'all, if you have a granite countertop, let me tell you, you got the best thing in the world. That is your cutting board. You don't need to be doing all this extra stuff. All right, all right. Got my bowl. Because I'm going to cut it to taco size. Thank you, Tina. Thank you, Misha. Now, uh, <laughs> No, I'm not. I'm not. You're going to see. I'm going to put it on the fire. It's just warm, right? Because I turned the fire off. So I'm going to just sit here on the warm griddle. Just for a second. What am I going to do with that um that wrap? What, what are you going to do with that, child? You just, you got to, <laughs> you, <laughs> you, you doing, you, you doing, really? Really? Okay. Y'all, I don't throw away no food if it's still good. Okay? I'm going to show you what I'm about to do. Mm-hmm. Going to fold that. Chop, chop. Ooh. That was an ugly chop, chop, chop. Chop, 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 chop. Chop. Yeah. Now, if y'all were watching the other night, then you would have seen my spinach artichoke dip that I made. And guess what? These are going to be the chips. The chips, I say, for my spinach artichoke dip. What? What? You upcycling food now? Yes. Because your girl ain't rich. And she ain't got no money to be thrown away. So I'm going to upcycle the rest of this tortilla and make them into chips. I'm going to turn my oven on bake. Start. Uh-huh. Now I'm not going to eat the um, spinach artichoke dip tonight. But this, this was the rest of what I had. It's so good. And so bad for me. Um, but when those are finished baking, then you got yourself some nice chips. Didn't I teach you something? Didn't I? I know it. So, ooh, ooh. So, um, oh, I was telling y'all about this professional slash personal journey I was on. So, I, I got to work yesterday and realized that everything that I had set up and, and was ready to go on day one, ready to greet my students and parents, had been completely undone. Undone, I say. 
You talking about somebody that was upset. I, I'm not going to say what I really was because my mama's watching Facebook live. And uh, and my, my pastor probably is too. But I was upset. You ever had things that you were ready, set to go? According to plan, like you already knew how it was going to look, boom, bam, boom. And then something happened and completely undid your vision. Mm, that ever happened to anybody? It happened to me yesterday. But you know what I did when that happened and the person that undid it, I didn't I didn't think it was malicious or of ill intent. Um I addressed it in the moment. In the moment. Cuz you know what? Life is too short to eat boring food, be mad, and be petty about something that you could have addressed in the moment. So I took the time to address how I felt in the moment. That I was disrespected, that my stuff was moved about, displaced, and undone based on my vision. Ooh. Did I talk to somebody? We got these visions that that uh, <laughs> that don't always come to fruition. Um, now, sometimes that's just because of someone's ignorance. And sometimes it's to protect you. In this case, it was someone's ignorance. And I needed to let them know that. And I did in the most professional way. I hope that I wasn't seen as the angry black woman. I hope. Because I can be that too. However, I use all my Stillman College words and did it the right way. Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. Oh, visions, man. Visions are relative. <laughs> it depends on who you in the fight with. And really what the vision is for. And when I thought about it, I said, you know what? Are there bigger things that I could be concerned with at this moment? Yep. So all of a sudden, that little petty thing didn't seem so much, but I still needed to let you know how I felt about it. And I hope that you respect that. You ain't gotta like it, but just respect how what I'm saying um, to you. How you feel about it is your business. Um, it's not for me to babysit or pacify you after I share my disdain. But I did. Did my face look like what? <laughs> did my face look like what? I did a face. I did a... My nieces be telling me about these faces I be making. I do. I do. I know. Mm. Yeah, I did. I I I won't even repeat that. I mean, I probably did more than likely. I'm sure I did. All right, I got my tortilla that I cut. It's still kind of kind of soft and pliable. I don't want it hard. All right, and what I'm gonna do is stick it in my glass bowl. Stick it in the glass bowl, Carla. Well, I'm gonna show you why in just a little bit. I mean, you you ain't got to. Y'all want to know everything. Y'all want to know what I'm doing, what I'm doing. I'm about to tell you. Something ain't right about this. Wait a minute. Wait, well, hold on. <laughs> so I was in the store today and I saw those little, um, Ooh, that's my little taco chips coming. I saw those little taco um, stands you can use. You can put the taco in there. But it was, 
it was six ninety nine, and I didn't have the money for it. So I said I was just going to put my taco in the bowl, and I'm going to show y'all. All right. So while that's going, I'm gonna, these, these were my veggies. Did y'all see that? Mm, ain't they pretty? They're so pretty. That's my um peppers, red and green, and onions, red and green. <laughs> I didn't plan that. It just worked out. It just that it just happened to be what I had left in the kitchen. Okay. So um. Something else I got. Y'all know I'm from Lee County and I love some good old sweet corn. Yes, I do. Hey, Dion. That's my pretty cousin, Chad. Yes. I got some sweet corn that's going to go on this. I might even put it on the griddle. Let me pull this fish off. I cut the fish up a little bit to go inside the taco. And I got a nice little sear on both sides. All right. Don't sear one side and leave the other side naked. N E K I D. Naked. Mm hmm. That's my fish. That's my veggies. My uh, peppers and onions. All right. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the fire up a little bit because I'm going to clean this corn. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this in a little bit. I like a little sweet corn going on in my um, in my taco. And it can be in my taco. It can be in my salad. I just love sweet corn. But it don't love me. Because, honey, that sweet corn goes straight to my gut. And then I'm going to be back in the gym trying to burn it off. Like I didn't do nothing today. Alright, so. You know she from the county where she can shut corn this clean. Mm-hmm. If your girl don't know how to shuck no corn, dump her. Dump her. She's a mess. And she's wasteful. I might be ending some relationships right now, so I'm going to just go ahead and wash this off. Mm -hmm. I don't want to end nobody's relationship. Because there ain't no room in the studio for y'all when you break up with your so-and-so. Alright, I got my corn. Ooh, there's, there's a little piece of silk. Oh, Paul Morton. Did y'all hear Paul Morton's rendition of Yearning? Yearning for your love. Uh, over some corn. Rochella, do you think I can end a relationship over some corn? I tell you what, if I ended your relationship about some corn... <laughs> then baby <laughs> you ain't have no relationship to begin with <laughs> you ain't have no relationship what are you talking about y'all know I'm just playing but I tell you what if, if, if I ended that relationship cause your girl couldn't shuck no corn then our, uh, she uh, wasn't the one. Oh, oh. All right. I got my little bowl here. I got my corn. And I'm, I'm uh, let me wash this off. Let me wash it off. Oh. I don't, I don't think I'm going to use that bowl because it's not going to give me the. Hold on. Oh, my heart yearning for you.
shave this corn off of the cob. Can you see? Oh, sing to me, Paul. Keep running. Shave the corn. Oh, a piece fell. Don't worry. Y'all know I keep my kitchen clean, so I'll be mopping after this episode. Oh, oh, it's so good and so sweet. Yes, boo. And now I'm just going to, uh, I like a little sauteed corn on my taco. I turned it all the way up. All the way up. A little fat joke for you. Um, I don't think I want to do no salt or pepper. I got everything else salted. That sweet corn, let me tell you, I ate a piece yesterday completely raw, and it was so good and so sweet. So, uh, I'm not going to season it because I want it nice and fresh and roasted for my taco. Okay. Can I make some more butter beans? <laughs> Skeeter, Skeeter, those were not butter beans, love. Those were green beans. I snapped the green beans. But I'll, I'll make you some more green beans, Skeeter. Mm -hmm. See, black men love women that can snap beans and shuck corn. Yes, honey, get you one. Get you one. Where you been all my life? You're following me. Y'all, I think my uh, my tortilla chips are done. <laughs> I probably overdid them. I did. I, I own it. I own it. I overcooked uh, my raw. Uh, but that's all right because I'm eating them. If I was cooking them for y'all, then it'd be better. Yeah, I, I did that. I did that. I'm not afraid to own mistakes. Um, that's why I don't understand why people get so defensive when you call them out on their stuff. Just like I did when when my my vision got completely rearranged. Now I understand, you know, my vision was probably superficial, but it was ready. And then you come in and you just change it, and now I'm mad. But you know what? Ain't no sense in being mad about stuff like that. Get over it, grow up, address it, and keep it in real time. Keep it in real time. That that was that was for that moment. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Hit him with the shoulder. Hit him with the shoulder. Y'all. Them little tortilla chips. I ain't gonna show you all of them because some of them burn. I overcooked a couple of them. But look at that. Waste not, want not. Like my mama said, you'll want it before it wants you. For those of y'all that are just joining us tonight, let me be the first to tell you that you are late. I am just about done with this meal. And what I did was, ooh, uh oh. We made shrimp tacos tonight, y'all. And that, boom, mm -mm. We made, what? Fish tacos tonight. I think I'm gonna start the assembly process because my brain is starting to 
not be able to process things so that I could communicate effectively to my audience. I'm hungry. I worked out for 48 minutes today. I did. I, I told y'all. I'm serious about this thing now. I can't be on here telling y'all about how to eat and do all this stuff and I ain't doing my part. I've been in the gym. Yes. Doing this light is a mess, isn't it? Hold on. So I'm um I'm trying to make sure that I do the things that I need to do um so that I can be an effective witness. All right, I got my little my little bowl ready. I'm all I want to be able to do is just fold it like a taco, okay? And the only reason it mm, my niece D Maria Jackson said that this was a, a simple, easy hack. When you take your um tortilla off the fire, sit it in a bowl. But the thing is, you don't want want to cook your tortilla for too long. I never saw the results of the apple well, the apple pie dessert, the apple cobbler, apple turnover that is, uh, was devoured immediately yes um and because i forgot remember y'all sitting here with viva and drinking all that wine and stuff i forgot to turn the oven on so a couple of them broke up and i didn't want to take a picture of it and show you but they were delicious child but i got some more stewed apples in the fridge so maybe maybe saturday or sunday i'll show you won't be saturday probably sunday when I show you how to do the little apple turnovers. All right. And it'll be cuter then, too. It'll be cuter. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, my, my, my. My, my, my. My, 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 my. Sure tastes good to me. All right. I got my taco. Got it in the bowl. I'm going to take some fish. Just take it to the length of the taco. Take your peppers and onions mixture. Put it on top. Don't overdo it like I was about to do. And, uh, oh, no, 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 no. Mm, 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 mm. I picked this up from, uh, this is a garlic salsa. Oh, that light. I'm sorry. I got a ring light, y'all. Garlic salsa. I know it's backwards, but you know what it say at least. Put a little garlic salsa on there. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I want some lettuce, too. Should I do lettuce? Yes, I should. Notice I didn't wait for the vote on that. I think I got some lettuce. I got some blood brown. I got some lettuce right here. I got some lettuce. Oh, don't clown me because I'm drinking water. I'm trying to get better, y'all. I got my cab over there, though. Because, the uh, raw. Got to make lots of... I love bug. I love bug. I love bug. Hey, boo. I was like, I love bug. What are you talking about, LaShawn? Hey, boo. All I'm doing right now is just shredding some lettuce that I want to go on top of my shrimp taco. See, that's my that's my shrimp taco. Mm -hmm. 
right on top of there. Give me some of that corn. Put it on top of there. Boom. And y'all see that? Oh God, that, that is so free. Oh no, something's missing. Now, I love sour cream. I do, I do, I do. But after that amazing workout I had today, do you think I'm going to ruin all of this with some sour cream today? Mm -mm. I made a lemon aioli. Let me show you. Oh, I put it out. Where, where's my aioli? Here it is. My lemon aioli is... I use lemon and lime juice, so I got lemon and lime juice in here, and mayo, garlic, herbs, just, just a, a plethora, a plethora of beautiful ingredients. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tilt this down a little bit because I, I want you to see what we're working with. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's. That's your shrimp taco. There you go. Got your lemon aioli that I made. I usually keep a little fresh aioli on hand. And instead of using sour cream, just use your lemon aioli. <laughs> Y'all. I know, but instead of using sour cream, because I didn't want to ruin my um, workout um, D. I'm using the lemon aioli that I made. Rochella, I do not have a recipe book. I don't. I'm I'm such the anti cook. I just I cook what tastes good to me, but I don't write nothing down. I need to start writing it down and make it a plain. Right? Yes. So maybe. Maybe when I write my book, it won't be a recipe book. It'll be a book about some experiences and things. And I'll have some recipes and, and pictures in between there. But for now, let me taste just 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 to show y'all what we hold on. Hit that there you go. So you got your 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 fish that was seared. You got your uh, salsa, your peppers and onions, your warm pepper and onion relish. You got your lettuce and you got your roasted corn on there. Here we go. Mm. Hey, Martha. How you feeling, boo? I missed you the last time I was home. Mm. Can I taste it now? Mmm, that's good. Hold on. Mmm, 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 mmm. Probably the best taco I ever had in my life. And I made it in my own kitchen. Mmm. 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 Oh my goodness, Pat. D, Pat ain't on yet. D, please pray. It did, Skeeter. It did. 
Skita, I don't know where my sister and my niece went. Can you please pray? Because I ain't prayed before I ate. Bless the hands that are prepared. That it may be for the nourishment of our bodies. Lord, help me to eat, to live. And not just live to eat. But strengthen me, Lord, so I can do your will. Y'all. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Y'all better be trying this stuff at home. I hope you are. I'm not just making them up for myself. I'm letting you know that you can eat bougetto on a budget. And it's delicious. If I had gone to a restaurant, y'all, I would have been mad. Mad. Because I didn't get enough. Because it wasn't seasoned. Because the service was slow. But I made this at home. And let me tell you, I am content. It is well with my soul. It is well. Honey. Mm. Oh my goodness. Tina, I'm so glad y'all chose that tomato, that sun-dried tomato wrap that I made into a taco. So good. So good. So good. I got you. I want to scoop up all of that other goodness that done fell out. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. I don't consider myself pescatarian, vegetarian, none of that stuff. I am not. I just like good food. Ooh. And I know that with me being 44 years old right now, I need to really start thinking about what I put into my body. I eat a whole lot of red meats. I love a good steak, honey. Woo, a, a good bone steak. But I can't do it like I used to. So I got to back off of that. Um, so I got to make some happy out of some other things in this universe. So this is how I choose to eat. Um, I, don't, I don't know what to tell y'all. But I rough. Uh, mm. That fish is seasoned just right. This is what I used to season the fish. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sean. Y'all need to cook this stuff. The badia mojo is what I used to season the fish. It's the same season I used to season my chicken the other night. Yeah. Y'all, upcycle your food. Upcycle. Just a fish fell out. So good. Well, mm. I'm probably going to eat another one of these. It does make you feel good, Anthony. It does. Let me tell you. I feel great. I don't even feel bad about that wine that I'm going to drink when I, when I turn you guys off. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to. 
Um, but I won't feel nearly as guilty because I got an amazing workout this morning. So if you so desire, if you love this recipe, if you love what Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen is bringing you every week, oh my God, I'm so blessed to be able to do it, y'all. Thomas, Thomas, y'all, Thomas! Thomas B. Horton is on the phone. Hey, Th Thomas, I love you. Thomas, you had my girls laughing about my story about you and them pots and how you hooked me up when I moved here. That's my boy. Who my sister said, don't get Thomas fired from Walmart. I said, he already left, child. <laughs> but he took care of his girl. He took care of his little sister. So you're going to always be in my heart. Um, my mama loves you, and she's never met you before. But she absolutely loves um, how you took care of her baby. So... Before I get all weepy, turn into weeping Wanda. Um, I just want to let y'all know that, you know, it's, it's so much good in life despite all the crap that's going on. It's all kind of stuff. Y'all arguing about Jay-Z's moves and all of this stuff. And, and, and we still got kids in Flint that's drinking water filled with lead. Let's start talking about the stuff that's important. I know I cut up. I cut up a lot. I do. But um, I'm also a thoughtful thinking being that understands that it's more to this life than just what you're going through. Because somebody, somebody needs for you to be their voice. So if you can be that voice... By all means, um, for all of my, I always joke about how much I don't make and all of that. And, and that's not me being ungrateful about the work that I do. I love the work that I do. I absolutely do. I wish it paid more, but it doesn't for now. Um, but at this point in my life, that work. And me sharing with you is absolutely what I want to be doing right now in my life. So I hope that wherever you find yourself, whatever path you land on, try to make a difference in somebody else's life and not just a name for yourself. Because this world is bigger than you. So I hope you'll do that. Um, for those of my um, professional friends that are out there, if there is a local elementary or middle school near you, I would encourage you to adopt a classroom. I know, don't nobody want to hear this, but I'm saying it. Adopt a classroom, become a classroom parent, even if you don't have a kid that's going to that school. All right? And make a visit once a month. I guarantee you. I promise you. The impact that you're going to make on those kids lives. From just showing up once a month. As their classroom parent. Is going to be phenomenal. If you can make that connection with the local elementary or middle school. By next week then I hope you will do that. For us in Charlotte, well, for my school district anyway, um, school starts on the 26th. Um, and I plan to be there to greet my kids. I don't have a kid in CMS. I don't. My son is 22 years old. But you know what? Every day, I'm like the dude in a... Uh, <laughs> I just watched the five heartbeats the other night. <laughs> Every day I got to fight just to prove my love. <laughs> so if every day you got to fight to prove your love to our kids that are out here being influenced 
by craziness every single day who have no idea who may be home to greet them when they get home after school. Just make a difference. Do something. We got to start changing our circumstances. And Charity Honey begins right at home. I ain't mean to get all serious on y'all and whatnot on this Taco Tuesday. But I need to let you know, we got work to do. As a community, we've got work to do. Don't fall asleep on the job. I love you. And uh, my goal is to be back on here on next Friday. I may come back on before then to show you how to make the apple turnover. <laughs> But until that time, um, I'm praying that your best is yet to come. And somehow right now, I want the very best for you. For all of my friends and all of my family, thank you so much. Again, you are so, so sweet for joining me on Sugar Pearl's Studio Kitchen. What? Live, baby. Live. Let me count it on play. I'll see you soon. Love you.